Hey there, Pipti here. Welcome to another short tutorial about Minus 3 v6 logic. This time I want to show you something um, fun. I'm not sure if it's practical, but I think it's fun. Namely, we're going to set up a thorium reactor to explode if enemies are nearby. I got your attention? Good. Here is how it looks like. I'm going to go into schematics. Here's what I've come up with. Um, I'm not sure if it's any good, to be honest. I've got some walls here, but it might be that if a strong enemy comes, he will just ignore it, like destroy some essential part, and it will not work. But I think it's a cool application of logic, and it might be useful. I'm not quite sure. Here's how it works. So first of all, um, we've got one message. This is basically for debugging purposes. It says, right now, this whole structure thing, that everything is fine, nothing to worry about. Uh, when there's an enemy nearby, it goes to boom, and it starts it starts trying to explode this reactor. There's a little setup needed, namely we need some thorium. Oh, we need some thorium and we need to mine it uh, real quick. Power infinite. There, give me the sweet, sweet thorium. I'm going to well, maybe take 10 of these. We need to put the thorium in there. It's really not that much which is needed. There, we have 10. Thank you. And we put it in here. And what happens is the logic is really minimal. So um, this unloader is always unloading. The only thing that is not working is this conveyor. Um, here is how it's done. Oh, of course, we need power. I've put a power infinite here and a mender, but you can just connect it to your power lines. Um, this doer is important. This doer is basically the eyes of the whole setup. And the microprocessor is connected to the message, to the duo, and to the conveyor. And let's see how the code works. First of all, <clears throat> when we're starting, uh, we want to use a radar instruction. We are looking at what the duo one is seeing, and we tell it, well, duo one, do you see any enemies? Can you can you see any enemies in your vision range? Please save the result to a variable called result. And then we say, okay, first of all, we're going to disable the conveyor. <laughs> because if it's if there's no enemies nearby, or the default, the default state is the conveyor is not working. And then we say say, hey, uh, if the result is null, this is actually N U L L. This means like if we have not found any enemies, we want to just go uh, down here, we want to print fine, flash flush the message, and end everything. If the result is not now, so if there is an enemy nearby, we are not jumping. Instead, we are printing boom. We are front flushing the message to message one. And then the most important part, we are enabling the conveyor one. So if there are enemies nearby, we notice the conveyor starts pumping thorium and we add an end. So these instructions are not being executed. And while there are enemies nearby, basically the microprocessor, the processor always starts from here, it also gets the results, disables the conveyor, then sees, oh wait, no, the conveyor actually has to be enabled. And this is good enough. So this kind of works. Now I want to show you how this works. Let's make a quick check. The thorium is in here. Everything is bound to a grid. The reactor does not have any cooling. This is intended. You will see why. I've got a little map here. I've got something for testing units. There are some units being produced, and until now there has been a meltdown keeping them away. And here's what I expect. So these units are going to go down, they're going to start shooting, but as soon as they are in this radius, this conveyor will start working. And the thorium reactor will start to overheat, <laughs> and then it will explode. Um, we could replace the duo with some other turret, something with a wider ra radius. Let's see how it works. Okay, so there in the radius, the conveyor starts working, the reactor is overheating, and goodbye. And that's it. <laughs> um, this is a very basic setup of a thorium reactor exploding. You can try to use it until against big bosses, like the last line of defense is a thorium reactor waiting there. But I think it can go wrong. I think it might be disturbed and it's working. 
it could go off because a single flying unit goes over it. Don't use it in a serious setup, but you can use it for fun. And I think this is a really nice application of uh, logic because it actually does something. Things which go boom actually do something. All right, that's it. I hope it was entertaining. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye now.